to churn across uh, the Atlantic, now entering the Caribbean. You can see that storm has just passed over the island of Barbuda right there, and now that storm of circulation is heading towards the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. It'll pass just north of Puerto Rico, it looks like, later today into tonight. By tomorrow, it's north of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. And as we head into the weekend, it enters the Bahamas between Cuba and making landfall, or possibly making landfall somewhere this weekend near South Florida. We're going to talk about the storm and the amount of rain it could produce in many parts of the southeast for the first part of next week when I come back in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Malachi. And breaking overnight, Hurricane Irma, as we said, the most powerful Atlantic hur hur hurricane ever recorded, and it has made landfall in the Caribbean. Florida, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands are under a state of emergency now as Irma moves in. And look at here, people are just swarming stores right now. This is video out of Fort Lauderdale. Water flying off the shelves. Supplies are in high demand, even though the storm is still a few days out. Along the South Carolina coast, first responders still have Hurricane Matthew fresh on their minds. After that storm last fall, North Myrtle Beach Public Safety got these new high water rescue vehicles. They say it's easier to get to people without having to wait for backup. And learning from what happened with Matthew, that time is critical. Basically, they're kind of unstoppable. They can get through anything. We don't have to wait on the National Guard. We can actually be prepared when it happens before the disaster instead of asking for support afterwards. One of these would normally cost thousands of dollars, but they were free as part of a military surplus program. North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper also has Matthew's devastation fresh in mind as he's urging the state not to wait to the last minute to get ready if Irma heads that way. North Carolina is often looked at as a state across this country that knows how to deal with hurricanes and floods, and we will be ready if, if the storm comes to North Carolina. More than 40 people died during Hurricane Matthew last fall, 22 of them in North Carolina. We want to remind